Titanium can be produced from its oxide by displacement with a more reactive metal like magnesium. Calculate the atom economy for the production of titanium in this reaction. We've got relative atomic masses of titanium, magnesium and oxygen. Okay, there's different ways uh, to do this, uh, and teachers teach us subtly different ways. Um, but essentially, atom economy is a percentage calculation. Uh, we want to know the percentage by mass in this reaction of the useful product over the total products. So I always tell students to circle the useful products. We want the production of titanium. Okay, so it's the atom economy for titanium. I want, I want the titanium circled. Okay, I then want the total product circled. So all the products, we're going to circle all of those over there as well. So, and our formula now is going to be a uh, useful product. So it's the mass of useful product from the equation, useful product, uh, divided by the total product, the total mass of the total products in this equation, mass of total products. Okay, now the reason I'm stressing total product uh, from the equation is because uh, we're not calculating formula masses when doing this. We're going to involve the stoichiometry numbers as well, the, 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 uh, the balancing numbers, if you like. Okay, so the formula mass of magnesium oxide will be magnesium and oxygen, but there's actually two magnesium oxides into the equation, so we need to use that too as well, because we're doing the atom economy for this reaction. Titanium to start with, and 48. 48 is our titanium. So that's part of that. That's the useful product. It's also part of the total product. So it's going to go on the bottom down here. Oh, I should have said this is a percentage calculation. So we need to multiply by 100 as well. Uh, so we've got four, our titanium on the top and the bottom. Now we need our magnesium oxide. So we've got two magnesiums and two oxygens in this equation. So uh, magnesium is 24. So plus 24, plus 24, two magnesiums and two oxygens. Oxygen is 16 plus 16 plus 16 and then we need to multiply all that by 100. I'm just going to work out this on the bottom first before we do anything else. I think it's going to be easiest. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, 48 plus 24 plus 24 plus 16 plus 16 equals 128. So it's 48 divided by 128 multiply by 100. 48 divided by 128 multiplied by 100 equals, uh, that looks like 37 and a half percent. So the atom economy for this reaction is 37.5 percent. All these questions and more on elshamhighchemistry.com.